Today we are back with another Star Wars figure review and today we have C-3PO from the Star Wars Vintage Collection. The Empire Strikes Back, C-3PO. All right, so this was just a recent pickup. I found this over at Target in case anybody is wondering. I know pretty much everywhere um, you guys can find this. Like you can order them online from different retailers, but that is where I found mine. So we picked this up not too long ago. Like I said, this is part of the new, it's a re-release, a reissue repacking there's so many different like terms for this but basically this is an older figure that has just been re-released and i don't have any c3po's in the collection so this is actually really awesome for the collection so i don't believe there's anything different um with the older one and this one as far as like the figure itself it's very cool you actually see it right there in the packaging but anyway we're just going to talk about this one because i don't have the other ones here we do have star wars the empire strikes back carding here and we have um c3po from i believe i believe this is a new hope um so it's a little it's a little weird but okay like whatever and then on the back of the box here we have bc06 this i don't know if you guys can see that so it says up there star wars the vintage collection so it says right there and then we have some of the newer ones which we actually have the mandalorian cara dune um for the vintage collection which is actually pretty cool depending on what baby yoda looks like next to c3po i was wondering if baby yoda would actually look good next to uh the vintage the three inch mandalorian but we'll find out soon all right so i'm just gonna open this up um and i'll see you guys in like 30 minutes because that's probably how long it's gonna take me to open this so <laughs> that took me like one minute what look how clean that is i'm a professional i got him out the box hold on boom there we go we got c3po out of box right there he looks really cool um so i will show you this is the three inch line i don't know if you guys can hear me like really far away because i'm like really far away right now that's that's a pop oh wow that looks crazy next time i did just review the baby yoda um black series figure that actually looks really cool next to the three inch figures i didn't know if it would be like too tall for uh this line um because i was debating whether or not i'm gonna sam's actually drinking water what I was debating whether or not to get the Mandalorian from the Vintage line or the Black Series. And I didn't know if the Black Series Baby Yoda was going to be a little too tall for that figure. But it actually looks like it will be okay. I think. I mean, I think it looks good. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys think and what you guys have. If you guys have like the Mandalorian Black Series or the Vintage one. So this guy looks really nice. You guys can see the gold paint job. It actually is really cool because it's not like the, um, the shiny one. It's a flatter type of paint job. It's a, what the? But I think it's a really uh, good gold paint job for 3PO. He is not standing that way really well. I gotta fix his feet. But you guys can see all the details on him right there with the wiring on the back and everything. We'll get to all that in a second. I just wanted to show you guys like the paint app on that. All right, so for the articulation on the head, he does turn 360. This is a ball jointed head, I believe. There's no movement up or down. I mean, very little, but like you can't really tilt the head downward. Oops, am I out of frame? And you can't really tilt the head upwards, but um, you can turn the head left, right? It's kind of got like a little tilt, like a swivel kind of thing going on. Arms move upward. Arms move up upward to about here, I believe. Right around the this one doesn't move upward like at all, so I'm not even gonna mess around with that. Um, and you can put his armor upwards like so. Obviously, ball joints at the elbows. You can kind of bend this one this way, like so. Pretty cool articulation for this guy. You can kind of pose him like whichever way. For 3PO, he was kind of like, you know, awkward. He's a droid, so um, having your articulation kind of awkward anyway is actually pretty cool. And then you guys see at the waist here, bends backwards, lift forward a little bit. Nothing too much going on. And then the back got all the uh, details for the wiring as well. You can swivel the wrist, open the palms, all that. Pretty cool. And the legs, this one goes, it goes backwards like this far, which is actually pretty cool. Um, but also the knees do bend. So you can kind of, that looks like a broken leg. And on this side as well. This is actually very interesting because I saw this part of the sculpt and I thought like it was broken or something. But the same seam here is on the face. So check this out. Check this. Hold up. Boom. We got zombie C3PO. No. <laughs> so the face does um, detach like so and then you can kind of see like all the whoops whoops my bad and you can kind of see like all the wiring i think that's actually really cool and this part here as well on the leg so boom i think that's actually really cool details with the with the wiring and the paint app and everything i didn't know that this figure actually had that so actually a really cool figure overall 
All right, so that's pretty much going to do it for today's review, guys. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section of C3PO. I'm signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.